What's up, fellas? We're doing a pump test here. This is known as a bypass pump. I'm going to discuss how to prime this thing. To prime this pump, one of the first things you want to do is have this valve turned off, which by turning it this direction, is all the way off. And we're going to have the flow valve all the way open. And we should get a discharge of oil here. Some pretty thick oil there. Take a look at the flow rate here. That's a pretty large amount of power there. I don't have any flow rate readings yet, but you definitely need to move that them bubbles away from the intake line. There it goes. You want to adjust the flow rate. We can close this valve, but before we do that, we want to open the bypass. I'm going to go ahead and open this bypass valve. Get some of the air out of the system there. I'm going to just open the bypass all the way here. I want to close the flow valve quite a bit. And we'll get the air out of the system first. Let's do that. We're going to let it flow for a moment. Bring you down a little closer. Remove you. Yeah, it looks like my gauge is getting washed out by all the light. So we've got a pretty good flow here. Hopefully you can see that from the camera. What I'm going to do is I'm going to. Okay, that's with the bypass open all the way. I'm going to close the flow valve to limit the discharge. You can see there it's very small flow now. We can shut it off all the way. And this thing can do an extreme amount of pressure. As we close this valve, that pressure increases. What we're doing is we're creating a high pressure zone in this region. If I open the flow valve, it's going to drop, of course. You can see now it's really coming out of there. But if we only need a very small amount, Let's say we only need that much flow, but we want it at a higher pressure. Let's say we want 500 PSI's at that flow. We're now running at 500 PSI's. You know, I gotta admit, I have not let this Loctite sit for 24 hours, so I might be doing myself an injustice. I'm going to close the bypass all the way so we can get a look at the total flow of this pump. That's over a thousand horsepower that we're looking at easy. If this were to be going to a steam boiler or something like that, that fuel flow is at a thousand horsepower. I am loving this pump, by the way. This is a brushless motor, which is awesome. Um, if we just close the valve like this, the pressure will grow substantially. We don't really want to get it too high, so what we can do is open the bypass and let some of that fluid recirculate back to the intake. Because if we want, as we can see, the flow is still substantial. So I'm going to close this. We're now at 250 psi. That's the flow rate. Let's say we only want 100 psi though, with less flow rate than that. Now 
we have two gauges on here. The reason I have two gauges is because this one's not very good. It's in megapascals, and nobody uses megapascals. They just must have had a, a shipping container full of these gauges, so they use that gauge. But I love this pump. This is a brushless motor, by the way. I'll show you guys the bottom of it, and I am so happy with this find. It is so much better than the previous design I was running. Now, if you're a customer and you're watching this video and you buy this product, you are going to have to put this section on yourself because shipping it like this is in a very fragile condition. Only this component here on over will be connected in shipping. This thing's very heavy and it is very capable of damaging itself. So thus far, I'm extremely pleased with this. Now, when you go to prime it, you're gonna to wanna to put some oil in the hose directly with a funnel or a syringe or something because you'd never wanna dry run this pump when you first get it. Or it will damage the O-rings in the piston pump. This is a positive displacement piston pump and it's ran by a um, orbital swash plate. There's a swash plate in there that kinda of rolls around like this for the lack of a better description. But that's pretty much the gist of it. To prime the pump, you have the bypass closed all the way, which is clockwise, and you open the flow valve all the way. This is probably over a thousand horsepower of flow. Now, of course, based on the way these pumps work, if we do a flow rate at zero pressure, you may get less flow rate at higher pressure operating operation. I'm gonna have to clean this out. I don't wanna ruin this oil. Okay, in this test, the bypass is completely closed. We're gonna do a two liter test, but we will take note of the one liter progress as well. We'll just check the time during editing. So, here we go. We'll start at 20 seconds into the video and go. Eighteen seconds in, it's at one liter. And I lost count, so bear with me. I believe that's 37 seconds or 36 seconds to do two liters. And it's at, I believe we were at 18 seconds for the one liter. So pretty substantial. And as I said, at different pressures, your flow rate's gonna be different, obviously. So, kind of keep that in mind, but just to give the total flow capability of this pump. Man, I'm loving this pump. I am, I'm shocked at how well it's working out. I was concerned about the absence of a speed controller being an issue, but that's not really a deal right now. All right, let's fire that up again. We're flowing good there. We're about 350 watts, which ain't too bad at all. Let's uh, increase the pressure a bit. I'm gonna open the bypass some. There's the flow rate. Now, turn the pressure up. 250 is a good pressure for atomizing nozzles. You could definitely run an oil burner at some extreme high power at that flow rate. And we're at about 500 watts. Okay, most brushless motors cannot be speed controlled with a triac or a pulse width modulator or a PDF or no, what is it called? Variable frequency drive, VFD. It's gotta be three phase. Okay, it's a no-go on the triac. But the way this thing runs, I think that's completely okay. I don't think it's gonna be an issue. By triac, you know, in this case, it's a router speed controller. So, so far so good. I think that pretty much concludes what I wanted to do here today. If you have any questions, hit me up and I'll leave them in the comments. 
This is going to be for my eBay customers. Sometimes you need a booster pump in life. Let's say your fuel tank is very far away from the system. This one, um, in most cases, you'd only need about 20 PSI to run the air atomizer unit. It's not too loud. I mean, you can hear the birds over it. Maybe, maybe you can hear the birds. I'm kind of a dork nowadays. I've given up a lot of music I used to listen to. And I listen to freaking birds for crying out loud. Yeah, I know. I know. Too old for Metallica and Slayer, man. <laughs> okay, so this thing has a cadmium dichromate coating on it, and I do not know what the emissivity of cadmium dichromate is. So this reading might not be accurate. You can't just go point one of these at anything. It seems warm to the touch. It feels warmer than 71 degrees to me. I could be wrong. That feels like about 90 degrees. You see there we're getting 85 on that piece right there, but the cadmium dicker mate showing 70. Okay, there we go. Yeah, what I tell you? The fittings are showing 100 degrees. So it's somewhat preheating the oil just a little bit, which is pretty awesome. I would imagine once it's been running for a while, that that would, you know, pick up a bit. So we are stabilized, rock steady at 50 PSI. Oh, wait a minute, that's not 50 PSI, I'm an idiot. Sorry. Still showing a fairly flow. That's a little low for any heating project you may have. These right here are another product I sell. It's basically the same thing, but on a smaller scale. The only difference is it costs less and you have to have a 12 volt system to run it. I've got two here. One of these needs to go out right away. And um, all right, I think we've seen enough. This thing is freaking awesome. I am in love with this pump. It's rare that I get excited about losing the ability to source a particular product. The other pump I used was a brushed pump and you could run a speed controller on it, but this doesn't really matter too much. It's not the end of the world, you know. Uh, the bypass system does just fine on its own. So I'm gonna take this thing apart, box it up, this is headed to an eBay customer Monday, or tomorrow, I should say. And I just wanted to see how it did. And it turns out that it is pretty awesome. <laughs>